Hey viewers, it's Tuesday on Pagan Perspective. This is week 14 and the topic is meditation. Along with um, the person that Kyle mentioned, Jamie's the user that said that they can have trouble focusing like during meditation, they have trouble staying in the zone sort of to meditate. Um, along with that, a couple comments before that on our page, Dexterella actually said that they thought meditation would be a good topic and talking about like what we think about it and stuff. So I'm going to give sort of like tips for what I do and just sort of talk about it. So that's where this video is going. I wish I could meditate a lot more often than I do because it's really relaxing and it always helps me kind of like figure out what the heck is going on in my life at the moment. And I always try to meditate, especially if I'm really, really stressed out or if I don't know what's going on. And that's when it's the hardest to meditate, really, because you have to completely get your mind off of everything and you have to completely relax in order to do anything. And it's just is really difficult but that's when I know that I need to do it the most and mostly I employ sort of like a casual meditation style right before bed and that is mostly when like I can't get to sleep because I'm one of those people that thinks about everything right before bed and if I think about something too important that I think I'm gonna forget the next day or I think it needs to be taken care of I get out of bed no matter what time it is and I get up and do it and Sometimes it's not something that I need to do, but I'll just be thinking about a lot of stuff that I can't deal with at the moment, and so it's really dumb to even be bothering thinking about it, but it, I can't get to sleep. So what I do is I sort of just stare at the ceiling, which if you can see, my ceiling is plain white. And I just sort of stare at that ceiling and or I close my eyes and I imagine a plain blank white wall that I'm in just a plain white room sort of like this just all white nothing specific to look at and all I do is I concentrate on blankness and white and clean and pristine and boring really and I just sort of let my mind take that all in and I just focus on that. And pretty soon my mind just goes completely as blank as that white wall. And I think of literally nothing for minute, couple minutes, it depends. And if I feel myself slipping back into thinking about all the different things and like remembering that I'm trying to repress something, I just try to stay in that blank state for as long as possible. And once I'm set, I was going to say stuck, but not stuck, once I'm set in that blank phase, um, the more I continue to be in that state without forcing the thought of blankness, that's when the mind starts to think about whatever it wants to think about but not in a disruptive way so different things might come into my mind I might see things or hear things or whatever and that is pretty much the simplest way that I meditate and on my personal channel I have some videos about grounding and centering but if you're having trouble meditating, I definitely recommend that you ground and center. And I'll put a link to my personal video in the sidebar, but like as a quick sort of thing, a grounding is a visualization type exercise that grounds you and sort of like puts your, let's see, how do you, how do you describe grounding? I wanna say that it keeps you rooted to reality and earth and it's like like when you're done meditating if I've got glasses glare um, like if you're done meditating and you feel really dizzy and lightheaded and like you're not part of this world anymore grounding sort of like gets you back to that earthly quality if you understand what I mean 
so grounding basically just keeps you grounded and keeps you here and present and knowing what's going on and centering is a visualization exercise type thing that sort of like gets you in tune with your place in the universe so that when you're meditating you're not just kind of like wandering around out there and not knowing what's going on at all you sort of have this framework to work from so I definitely recommend that to help with meditation because if you're having trouble focusing that's a really good way to focus because it makes you focus on the ground on a physical thing that you can feel and it makes you focus on the center and it really just pinpoints exactly what you want to be focusing on and it's a really good exercise for that so what else um, if you're if you're more visual I would recommend sort of meditating on something like a reflection in water or a candle flame something like that that you can focus your visual intent on so that because a lot of people I know if you just close your eyes you're like okay what am I doing how's this gonna help me but if you're visually focused on something it might be easier so you might want to try that and some people um, meditate better sitting up some meditate better lying down on their back um, outside inside just try different different ways that are comfortable to physically sit to be for a long time because if you're uncomfortable you're not going to be very focused because you're constantly going to be thinking oh my back is sort of out of whack and I need to move and then that distracts you um, you might want to try it with music maybe you don't like guided like just do a plain music meditation and sort of like just let your mind go instead of trying to get somewhere um, and on the flip side of that, if you don't have anywhere to go, you might try a guided meditation that'll tell you what to focus on. That could also help. Or, if music in itself distracts you, try just being in a completely silent place. So, really, there are just a lot of different things that you could do to sort of figure out what your meditation style is like. And there are a lot of different ways to do it. So there are a lot of things that you could do, depending on what your actual focus problem is, to help you out. So, without knowing specifically what any of you viewers have troubles with, I can't really speak to much more, but I hope that gives you sort of an idea of different things you can do in different ways that, um, you know, you can get there kind of thing. So, I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you next week for whatever that is. And I'm sorry, this is going to be late again. It's going to be like after midnight my time because... My days are still hectic, but it's here. It's here. It's for you. And I'm going to try and get a video on my personal channel, maybe of the solo dance that I have to do this week, because that's what I'm really having trouble working on right now. All right, so I will talk to you guys later. See you next week.